honored. I'm blessed. I try to enjoy every moment. I'm thankful. You know, I don't want to become off as cocky or arrogant in any way. I'm so grateful and so thankful for every opportunity I get. Bobby King Green looking for his 20th professional victory, his first as a member of the UFC. The jitters were there. The jitters were definitely there. I just knew I needed to rise to the occasion. Uh, hey, it, it was either he was going or I was going. I remember being at my dad's house and just like seeing how everybody was counting me out. And we were just saying we are going to f***ing do it, you know? They're going to f***ing do it. Bobby Green submission! Victorious! in its UFC debut! It was the biggest night of my career at the time. I remember proposing to my girlfriend at the, after the, I woke her up the next morning and I woke her up with a ring and stuff. And so it was a dope ass time. The first fight with me and Lando, I was depressed. And I met my striking coach and he's like, hey, like, after the fight, we were like, bro, he told me, like, you got it. You are going, you're going somewhere. Like, I don't know why you're thinking you're out of the division. You're not going to, I thought I was going to be leaving. And so I feel like if I fight anybody twice, it's going to be really bad from the second time. So when we got the second shot at Lando, it was like, all right, this is the one where we get to show our true skills now we're building on this one. And so that was from my uh, coach, Sam Mason. We had to show him, hey, we, we came to dance today, and, and it's not going the same way as you expect. Anybody at fight after I learned about you and I understand you now, it's going to get really, really bad. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Bobby King Green! New York! New York! New York! Being in Madison Square Garden, you know, Muhammad Ali fought there. It was all iconic. I felt like I'm the ace or the joker in the card deck. I just remember hitting him and thinking, oh man, you can't even see my timing or anything. This is gonna be really bad for you. That went so sweet, it was a dope ass time to be in that moment. Everything went right that, that week. Was, everything went perfect. Hey, I'm talking to you at home. You can do anything you put your mind to. I'm living proof. I'm living proof. Bobby Green, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I'm the people's champ, so I gotta go see the people. I walk to the streets like, I let the bus leave me. I let, I'm gonna walk, I'm gonna walk out here. I'm going out here, I'm walking to the city. And so that was dope. Man, the hand speed on Bobby Green. Look at that. Bobby told him to pick it up. Nazareth, I remember me and Sam worked real hard on that fight, you know, real hard on, on, on our numbers and, and putting things together, and we were just so on that night. Green has outlanded Hat Press 123 to 62 unofficially. Yeah, I'm still an old dog fighting all the young competition. I fought whoever came in, and Nazareth's doing good himself now, you know, he's still doing good, and so it's just to show that I'm one of the realists, you know? Well, the bandwagon for Bobby Green started rolling back when he turned pro in 2008. Five times. I was sitting at home smoking weed on the couch. I'm like, man, I'm not going to be fighting anytime soon. Oh, here comes this phone call, and I got to drop all this weight and all these cameras in my face. I have one goal, is to make sure my kids all have homes paid off, and that's my goal, and I will attain my goal if I have to go in here and fight 10 Russians on two days' notice. So to get that honor, you know, that's one of the things off my bucket list that I wanted to be able to check off. The uh, company respected me enough to, to put me in that position. Be honest, if I'm being real with you, it's just like, it was a shit show. Um, and that's what that one, like, it's my worst showing ever. But we all got to thank Bobby Green for being a man, stepping up, showing up here, and giving us a fight in this main event as well. Well, I'll sound like a broken record for John Anik two weeks ago and say, huh? I yeah, hope yeah. Bobby Green still gets that main event under ideal conditions, yes. full fight camp. In a, in a matchup that he so deserves. Crowd being all on Tony's side and I gotta fight the hometown hero, you know? It's like, even when people love you, they love him way more, <laughs> you know? And so, um, the most electric night, it was just like, everybody was hitting that night. Bobby's looking at an arm triangle. Oh, look he at is. This. Yep. Look at this. Oh my goodness. I heard him gurgling. And usually that's like a guy sleeping, you know, sleeping. And so I wasn't sure and I couldn't see. But I knew if I let him go, that he could hop up and say, oh, I wasn't out. So guys don't know, but I got a hell of a squeeze. If I put that choke on, you're going to sleep. Man, last 10 years of how would I feel about this? I don't ever think about that, brother. I don't know, like, living it one day at a time, brother. One day at a time, you can't.
I don't know. It felt like it's big headed to be like talking about my legacy and like, no, nah, bro, I'm just doing it. I'm just doing it. I don't know how to be like, I don't know. It's just too much to be like, oh, I'm a, I'm this or I'm that, my legacy. Yeah, that sounds weird. 